Let's phase morphling picks into the triple. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've been to Zayats. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, come around. Get a bit, get a bit close and comfy there, Zayats. Like, he's nice and awake. He's on Nisha there with his hoodie on. He, he was looking a little sleepy. Like he might need a little face wash. Uh, but this is what the, we're looking to talk about. It's secret right now. Who've looked really strong. I think they've just been caught out a few times with this Warfleet. Just, uh, yeah, just have to be a little bit of a change up. The the bands for the first game were already interesting. I'll be very curious to see what we get uh, this time around. And it exploited in a couple of series as well. These really early, early left picks. So. Okay. Not a big kill for Secret to find him. Resolution's ready to rock and roll. In with the black hole, but the instant counter. Collapse. Going to be able to cover the retreat, but they have to break. Gator is in some trouble for the moment. Nisha needs to pump the damage out, but the global silence not going to be enough. A hook shot into the middle, but Zayat, the finishing blow, cutting off the head of the Spectre. But Toronto Tokyo wants revenge and is going to be able to find it. Catching up to the Nyx Assassin. Over the Bloodseeker, he goes next as well, but the rupture from Chrysalis, the double rupture. As well, but collapse. A flash and a look around the TPR, but against the bash. Chrysalis finds two, and he's looking for more. And two, they don't have enough members on Spirit for the moment. As into the middle they go, but there's the global once again, but it might not matter. It's Chrysalis Jeez. stacking up the attack speed, bash up to bash. Fiends grip now for good measure. They've locked onto their target, and there might be no escape for the Spectre. A die back for your Toro, and now the rest of the team will be buried six feet under. It'll It'll take you 54 minutes to take this game to, but what an incredible victory for them. Half ground for him. High ground attempt as the jump in from Marcy gets carrot faced. The Chrysalis catches the TA. Four staffed away. The snowball comes back in though with the Boris Punch. Mikoto's dead. When he comes back out, the Gargoyle gonna get pummeled. 23 Savage doomed up Nisha, but that's the Aegis holding Shadow Fiend and Team Secret. They're just ripping them apart. And I mean, there's buildings to kill, boys. Go back <laughs> to the barracks. You're gonna buy back out of next, but Nisha running straight back behind the tier threes. GG is called as Mikoto gets caught. First kill for them in quite some time. Now with the black hole as well. Clips oh, with the two. Oh no, the damage on Nisha should come through thanks to the nether strike. He's die. They'll finally get the kill, but the turnaround is a secret. Bring all five members to take the skirmish inside Beast Coast's jungle and be able to get the roll away. They want to deal with the squishy support in Poppy and said, what a jump in. Chrysalis onto three with a stun. And now they just need a split of ways. Disaster is soon to occur if they stick around for a fight. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at the damage. Oh, there. yes. Nisha just cleans up K1. Well, this might be the ninth death of the game here for C Smile. Had a really good start to game one, but this is a different showing with the instant cancel of the black hole. This should probably be GG. And. That's uh, Entity, they're looking for a bit of revenge here. Nice two-man stun out from Katomi. Oh, that two heroes dead straight off the bat. Resolution, considering whether to get involved with this one or not. Zayas is going to jump straight off him as go for Katomi here. Storm Storm are gone as well. Our annoying Malefice and uh, Macropy are coming down as well. They're trying to cook him up, but Zayas once again saves him with the disposed. Aegis is now up. He doesn't even care though. Jumping in deep. Katomi coming in. Throwing throughout the stun pure. Trying to get on top of the Gyrocopter. Trying oh, to catch Aegis. him with the Aegis down. But do they have the damage? Does not look like it as they can now turn around and uh, Pure try to get off some fancy footwork here but Grillum's back in from Puppy and that'll get him the kill as well buyback but uh, well there's a GG coming out from someone looks like they are going to be successful in doing so Pure jumping out again this Leshrac really wants to make some action happen this man is bored they find Nisha on the sidelines here Katomi finding the jump but the save comes out from Zayat as he punches this uh, Nick Sasson Nick Sasson's four star back away as Pure on the front lines trying to get a bit of damage here they have managed to get Zayat with the Gleitner Zayat will die <laughs> <laughs> little ridiculous. Well, in again we go. This time it's Hunter Pure. Pure getting very low on the side of this as well. And he is going to drop. No buyback on the Lesh Wreck. And he's going to cool it. GG's come out. They have run out of juice. Absolutely sick plays in that last fight. He had his Aeon Disc locked. He unlocked it. He got saved by Zayats anyway. It was about to get popped by some spark grades. He just put it down on the ground. Kept it nice and safe. Let the spark grades hit him.